Hi everyone. So this is Scrage back with another Across the Obelisk video. Um, as you'll notice, uh, this is a voiceover. Um, it turns out that uh, I did not record audio for the beginning of this run. <laughs> So I thought I my microphone was on, and it turns out it was not. At some point in about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, it comes back on. But for the beginning of this run, I will just do some voiceover um, talking about uh, what I was thinking. Um, so my thoughts for this run were, I was just doing some testing and uh, um, with Heiner and Cornelius, and I had a run that started with a burning orb for Cornelius, which uh, seemed pretty sweet. Um, so I wanted to get going. I'm um, here. I'm going through the different uh, um, uh, uh, the different stuff that uh, the talents I'm taking. Um, this is a while back. Um, like I recorded this maybe two weeks ago. Um, so my thoughts have changed a little bit, but uh, the goal was here um, was to help uh, give some sharp to Sylvie along with get some vulnerable from crack maybe along the line. Um, I've liked the fortify stacking, which I'm talking about right here. Um, and uh, yeah, for Heiner, um, I found that to be pretty good. Um, I like the reinforced charges and uh, yeah. And then for Nez, I wanted to bring, have him do some sight to help increase Sylvie's damage. Um, the she has her passive uh, increases uh, the dam or reduces piercing resist based on the amount of sight that they have. So I thought it'd be fun, a fun run to have Nez in here um, doing some uh, add, adding sight and. Uh, whatnot. Um, here I'm talking about uh, the reason why I'm bringing all these heal talents. I find it fairly hard for Nez to heal up the team um, when you don't take these healing talents. You used to be able to um, do a lot of healing without these be it based on his passive, but his passive has been nerfed. Oh, I can see Zeus popping up in the, in the video. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um... But, uh, but yeah, so I, I was bringing the healing talents, um, and, uh, giving, oh, and I'm grabbing Zeus a treat. Um, but, uh, and then also the regen talents, uh, to, to stay. And, um, and yeah, so that's sort of what Nez is doing. I'm also bringing the talent for, um, insane to reduce max health, um, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, I think that's a, a good way of uh, dealing some pretty free damage over the course of the run. Uh, you start with an Ockley, and the Ockley then just like automatically puts a fair amount of uh, Insane on them each turn with your talents and everything. And so, yeah, it ends up working out pretty well. Um, and then, yeah, so I think I'm talking about how Mind Blast, it's adding 7 Insane, which is 14 uh, health reduction. And so if somebody has like a shield or barrier or something like that, then it still works. It goes through that. And then also it, uh, um, yeah, the, the healing from insane is also more than from sight, which is, I think a change from how it originally was. Um, what else am I chatting about? Bringing regen. Yeah. Um, I've been bringing the, um, the healing reigns and the regen, just to roll like an extra little thing of uh, um, healing at the beginning of the run. Um, and then for Sylvie, we're bringing a bunch of this stuff. Um, the extra piercing damage and uh, some sharp and whatnot. Um, yeah, and then a little bit of vulnerable the you guys will see from my upcoming videos vulnerable and i'm sure you've seen some of the other youtube videos that are that are out there vulnerable is like insanely busted right now and so i haven't really 
done a bunch of runs with it, but I will be showing you some of those in the in in my upcoming videos. But for now, we're just te sort of testing stuff out. Um, this is uh, yeah, I'm bringing the the stealth stuff. Um, or the site removes stealth, which is kind of cool. And um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, stealth and mark charges. Um, so yeah. Let's see, what else are we doing? Um. You have to forgive me. This was, uh, let's see, how long ago was this? I can look. I recorded this. Um, about, just about two weeks ago. So <laughs> I've been a bit busy recently. So um, it's uh, been a bit, but uh, um, hopefully it's, it's still a pretty fun run. So hope you guys still enjoy it. And um yeah, so we're just grabbing some points here. I really don't care about points all that much. Um, to maximize, like, your score, there's so many little things you do that I just don't find fun. Um, so that's not something that I focus on in my runs. Um, but I, if it's just free, then I'll then I'll do it. But vigilances are pretty bad. <laughs> but... Uh, The kind of helps with Nez and, and healing and whatnot. Um, okay, so we Cornelius with the Burning Orb does quite a bit of damage here, if, if, if I remember correctly. Um, I think it was a it was a pretty bad opening hand. I don't know why chatting about this, but, uh... Hmm. Okay. So... I think I'm just discussing who to use the insane on, and then who I'm going to be targeting. Um... Again, like, the, the rock guys, just for how much, uh, damage they do like compared to some of the other monsters and like their power versus the other the other starting monsters it's a, it's wild how much uh, how much better they are it's pretty nice here with the stacking fortify um since you basically get up to oh yeah that's what i'm talking about for sure <laughs> i'm talking about how much i hate this stupid rock guy compared to a sheep <laughs> yeah i i know myself from two weeks ago <laughs> um but yeah the the stacking fortify we get up to eight right here um which is pretty sweet and then we've got sylvie coming in with her second turn i think i'm just saving the energy and the stealth for next turn And then, uh, yeah, trying to take out Bob. Um, him healing or doing wet on the enemies is a pretty big downer for Cornelius' damage. So we definitely don't want uh, him staying alive for too long. And then, wow, the sheep sheeps have horrible fire resist, which is nice. Um, I think I'm just chatting about the Mind Leech nerfs. Um, yeah, that it's now 20% of Sight and 10% of Insane. Or 10% of Sight and 20% of Insane. Where I think it, when he first came out, it was 30% of each, which was insane. Like, that's just wild. Um, the, that it used to be that. But, uh... Yeah, I think... I think I do kill Bob here so that the bacon doesn't heal him. He has a chance of healing him, so 
I just didn't want didn't want that to happen. And uh, of course, Bacon then slapping off all of Heiner's block, which is pretty annoying. Um, and uh, okay, so we killed the sheep. Um, I think I don't cast these quick shots. Yeah. Yeah, because the rock guy's still going and he's AOing the whole team and giving him like 20% extra damage seems pretty bad. Here's me complaining about the rock guy again. Like, the fact that that's a card that he can use and <laughs> it's pretty insane. But, uh, got Cornelius doing some pretty good damage. And, uh, hopefully healing back up a little bit. Okay. So, we're on around four, and... We should be able to win this turn. Maybe not. No, Cornelius will do it for sure. Um, for pets, I did buy, bring Esmodi and Ockley this time. Um, that's it. Um, I might pick up others along the way. We'll see. But he's now dead, so I'm just thinking of if, uh, I wait a turn and he let Nez heal up people more, or just kill him right now, and I think I just decided to, to kill him right now. Um, Corrupted Steel Skin seems pretty good. I think I probably take that. Yeah, I do. Um, don't need more Vigilances. They're pretty bad. Um, we've got, uh, Ignite, which I don't think I want, and none of that is something I, I, I'd want. Um, we've got a Lost Sheep that we're gonna combat and, and go and save. Um, this is a nice, like, fight, uh, usually, um, because they're adding a bunch of insane to you, so it helps Nez heal up the team a bit more. There's some ordering issues right there. <laughs> I like that I taunted. <laughs> There really only is one change. They have like a random hero thing that they can do, but that's really pretty rare. That it, like that's the only thing that it would actually affect what Heiner um, gets hit by, and him taunting gives a bunch of uh, block. And so, I still think it was worth doing since most of the damage in this fight is coming from either the AOE or the bite, and uh, the only other time that it would the taunt matters is if they do their single target thing so that one hit him for sure um where it might have hit somebody else but the other both the other sheep are not affected so the taunt at this point was worthwhile okay so Um, looks like we will win this turn, or at least come close to it. Um. Ah, very close. Um, they'll need to take the burn damage to tick down enough, but... Um, and then here, I'm just, uh, doing some extra healing and whatnot. And then, yeah, Cornelius will end it right now. Ooh, after he cauterizes. Cauterizes is sweet. I like that card a lot. And let's see. I don't know what I'm waiting for. I think that fire shield kills them both. 
I guess that is better, and then the fire shield? Oh. Oh, okay, I'm letting Nez heal, I guess. Yeah. What am I, what, what am I doing? Well, why didn't I attack? I feel like I should have attacked there. I should have definitely made it die to burn, I think. Because then it wouldn't have hit us. Oh well. Um, there, there you go. I'm sure. I'm sure people, as they watch these, are like, "Why didn't you do this?" And then I'm, I'm the same way as I'm watching myself. Like, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, what am I even looking at? Oh yeah, I want his deck to be mostly spells, um, because I want him to get us into the hatch without having to jump on it. And so that's one of the reasons of, for this deck setup. Um, and uh, wait a second, no, we have Cornelius along. Never mind. That was crazy. Ignore that. Do I want a burning shot? No. And ammunitions? I guess I take. I don't know. That that. I don't know that I would take that now, but at the time when I was just starting out with Sylvie, I did so. Maybe. But, uh... Yeah. Now we continue up here. That event is pretty... Can, can be kind of hard, along with the... Um... Oh, yeah, that, that event could be pretty hard, but, uh... Um, for and the rewards there were crappy anyway, so. Okay, didn't do anything there. Oh, Zeus came running over. I didn't even notice. It's so sad. <laughs> um, this fight, I think, is where my audio kicks back in, so... You'll have you'll have me from from a, a week ago or a week and a half ago, um, back for company in just a sec. Um, I think I'm looking at like the timing here, like the order in which we're going. But uh, I'm not sure about that. Something something was making me smile. I don't know. Um, okay, so, yeah, this fight's going just fine. Hopefully we can, we can kill this guy. Maybe I should have rapid fired there. Um, it's pretty unlikely for it to hit Bob enough to make a difference, but... It it could have, so I don't know. The damage isn't wasted either, so giving Cornelius there the the block saved him a bunch of health. So okay, Bob is now dead, and uh, we're just looking for a way to sort of heal back up for this fight. Um, though, okay, nice. Harley dealt him enough damage so that he would, he would die, which is cool. Ooh, those are the perfect hits, too. We even dodged hitting, hitting Bob as he was already dead. Okay, so, um, let's see here. Yeah, we should be good to just, uh, end this fight pretty close to full health, and, um, yeah. 
which is which is nice. Um, we did go to round four. It would have been nice to end it round three, but uh, such is life. And let's see. I probably realize that I'm not recording after this fight ends, so um, I am going to to stop this now. But uh, good luck with with my past self, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the run. Okay, I <laughs> I just realized I, uh, my mic has been off this whole time. I think I don't. I'll, I'll have to check the recording, but it's probably been off for this whole like twenty minute intro that I did. Um, so on the video, it'll be a voiceover, and then it'll transition into this. So we are ready to. Uh, I. Just <laughs> I just got back from uh, going on a walk with, with Zeus back there, so just noticed it. Um, okay, well, uh, Nez gets to mind control this guy, which is nice, and we get Betty. Um, we'll put Betty on Heiner, because uh, he's the only one who can really, use, or who isn't replacing a pet at this point. And then we get to go down the hatch. Um, and uh, Nez gets to put these guys to sleep. Um, there are, so, there is like the thought um, that you, you can just fight them. It's not a, it's not a hard fight. Um, and that would um, give you card selections, um, but let's just do this. We get some gold. Um, Tabula Rasa. So this is an interesting one. So we have the talents for, um, Sight can't be dispelled and we also have the talents for um sharp can't de be dispelled and so i think this is doable um this camouflage like honestly isn't that much better than a normal camouflage so i'm actually going to take the rare equipment shop we have 519 gold i think it's possible I mean, it's possible to get like a really sick item, like any of the, there's some amazing corrupted items that we can get. Um, and corruption events give you a higher chance of those. Um, as you can see, we still have the site out here. Um, and so I think um, that's one, th one reason I actually swapped over to um, where I started using that talent was specifically for fights like this. Um, I think it can be quite useful to be able to do a fight like this. Uh, before the talent update, like, I think this was one of the harder fights. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of cool that there are options to sort of deal with it here. Um, let's see if we can take out a spider. Okay, so it's the co Toasty who is purging, which is actually ideal since, like, they're going to put a bunch of curses on us and then he'll take them all off. Um, and it's actually nice that he's going before Heiner so he doesn't have to get, take the bleed damage or anything like that. 
Oh, we can actually just cauterize it off. Nice. Um, let's do this. Um, and then... Oh, I guess the, the insulate there was probably pretty useless. Okay, took a burning shot. And then... Okay, um, maybe Nez can kill one? No, he's not killing anyone. Okay, so most of this doesn't matter, so we can just, like, heal people who are low, and then deal some damage. This is just going to get purged off, but it will always do that, so we might as well get it out of the deck. And I, and I removed the Vulnerable from Heiner's so that he would take a little bit less damage on his turn. Um, okay, so it's now this boar that is has the Tabula Rasa. We're very slow this turn. <laughs> He's immune to burn, huh? Okay. Well. Okay, so guess we hit there. Oh, well. Oh, that is unfortunate that he went to one. Well, actually, I guess that was probably better for us than it was for them, so. <laughs> I think I'm okay with that. And we are up to nine sharp, which is cool. And then we get to punch that guy for a bit. Okay. Oh, whoops. Give some energy to Nez so you can heal a little bit more. Okay, and then Sylvie should be able to end it here. Yep. So that one was pretty great. Uh, wait, did we have? Oh, okay. Well. Guess we can just have two corrupted heat waves, but I don't sure why not. Um Don't think we need that. Um Front Monster. This being a melee attack and not a ranged is pretty sad, so don't think we take it. Okay, well, we didn't get any good of the good corrupted things, but Stone Amulet, I think, is quite good. So let's grab that. Oh, I forgot. I was going to switch up my upgrades ahead of this. Because I was going to, like, not upgrade the Prayer of Healing and then upgrade that here. Um, but I think I, maybe I will, scroll of intellect is probably still the upgrade. And 
and then a bluff upgrade I like. Oh, I should have made it zero cost one for now. Oh well. Yeah, because these are all just 90 cost. I guess the dispel magic. Oh wait, no, I, I was I was gonna do the shadow mend. Um, just like targeted sanctify removal in the Yelmer fight, I think is gonna be pretty good. And then these are all 90, I believe. Yeah. So I'm gonna make the uproot stay in the deck. And then I'm gonna have Heiner drink the heat surge. It's just nice that occasionally he'll have like insulate early on in the fight without uh, Cornelius intervention. Um, grab one of those. Actually, I'm going to grab a Scholar Robe just to reduce the burn damage that he's taking. Sixty-five percent chance. I'm going to try it. Let's see if we can we can get there. Nice. Um, I've tried re reactive laser before. I don't think it's good. It just, yeah, it, Steel Forge is so much better. Um, Night Terror is cool. I think Hellflame is just amazing. And then Target Shooting is just amazing. I am very excited to get the final level on this. It's not a huge difference, but uh, it'd be nice to have it. Um, so now we just go straight to Belfour, and uh, let's take him down. This is a risky fight. Like we can all, we can just die in this fight. We really want to uh, find our Steel Forge early, because if we find that early, then we're like in the clear. I think it's like a pretty easy fight from there. Um, but if we don't, then there's a lot of risk. So. Um, we did not find it right off the bat. I guess we can bluff to try to to get closer to it. Um, try to just stack up as much burn on this guy as we can, because it takes quite a lot to get his resistance to low enough for it to do anything. Okay, definitely we need to uh, get rid of the burn. Just, like, basically any chance we get. Um, okay. Well, we can now get rid of these. Which will get us closer to the Steel Forge. Um, we want, like, we really would have hoped to have it this turn. Um, because then we get a couple of turns to start proccing it before he does his, like, big crazy stuff but unfortunately that was not an option oh i should have uh done this a tad differently but okay well nope well let's see if we can't uh Help out Nez. Okay, at least we found the prismatic field. Um, so that doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, the only one who gets ahead is Sylvie. We just do extra heals. Okay. Well, Nez is dead without some intervention. He's going to need 
a fair amount of block. Let's see, does this do it? Okay. So we at least kept Nez alive. I think this fight went about as bad as it could have, and looks like we're all right. <laughs> Okay, we even ended it round three, which is pretty sick. Um, it was very close to just a disaster, but uh, managed to pull through. Um, I think another ricochet is good. I think this is one of the best ranged attacks. Um, uh, upgrading it to that to the mark version is just amazing. So. Um, so if they have 50 sight, then we can proc dark on them. How often is some, does somebody have 50 sight? Probably not super often. What is the other version? <sighs> this version is actually not bad. If we ever... If we have our, like, damage transformed into burn, then that's kind of good, but, hmm. I, I've taken this one before, and I just feel like I am always disappointed. <laughs> like, I feel like it never quite does what, it, what I want it to. Um, let's try this out a little bit. I think that's going to be okay. And then... We could we could take a guard, another one. Ooh. Okay. Well. Seems good. Okay, so we're going to pay them most of our gold for a sack of grain. And we get to walk over here and say, no, we don't want to get help your help with practicing. Um, let's, uh, let's just heal, I think. Which of these fights is easier? Probably this one. That might have been doable, but kind of scary. Hmm. Would have liked it to bounce back to Poncho, but... Forty three. <laughs> wow. Uh, that is a lot of damage. If we could kill Poncho, oh, the slow. I was going to say, if we could kill Poncho before he goes, that would be insane. Very close to doing it. Not quite, though. Okay. 
Okay, Steel Forge, see if we can find Heat Laser. We did, which is awesome. And then give some reinforce to Nez in case this guy's gonna does his like shoot to the to the sides. And uh, we're gonna want it for that. Okay, so get some healing out. I think we do this instead of the heal, just to take away a turn from this guy. Turns out he wasn't doing anything anyway, but uh, you never know. Um... Um, I don't. I don't know if anyone else uh, has uh, um, watched Ted Lasso in the past, but I I love that show. It's so good, um, and I recently started rewatching it. Oh, I love it just as much. This uh, this is maybe the the second or third time I've seen it. I think this is the third. Because I watched it with some friends. Um, and uh, it is it is a blast. Anyone who, who hasn't hasn't seen it should should check it out for sure. Um, it's funny because like <laughs> one of uh, like I'd heard I'd gotten some recommendations for it. And I was like, well, like a, a show about a soccer team, like football team in, in England. And this coach guy, like, what, what is, like, why would I want to watch this? And then um, I'd heard uh, from some NBA, I've followed the NBA, and so I'd heard from an NBA coach that said basically any NBA coach should watch Ted Lasso. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then my friend who ha does not have, like, an athletic bone in his body, has, like, never been into sports, was then also recommended it to, to me <laughs> and was like, hey, you need to watch this. And so the, those two very different viewpoints then coming together and both like loving the show um, convinced me I needed to watch it. And it, it really is amazing. Um, this steel skin is actually pretty sick. Um, you can get like 10 Fortify pretty easily now um, with the stacking Fortify, which is sweet. Um, and so you end up with like 60 block and 60 shield if you're up at that uh, at that amount um, it ends up being quite effective um, I think we just get a fanaticism I think that's better than the, the corrupted uh, version right there these are nonsense we don't need those another exposed armor okay so we uh, are hoping to find heat laser uh, quickly in this fight, um, and qu by quickly I mean like on turn literal turn one. Um, the reason being, he will taunt the lowest health person, and. Uh, that is not great for that person. In this case, for sure, Cornelius. Um, kind of luckily, though. We, I mean, we didn't find the... Um, we didn't find the heat laser to taunt ourselves. But we did find, like, a fortify along with a bunch of um, intercepts to give Cornelius quite a lot of block. Um, okay. That could have been bad if he had, like, shot Nez. I don't know if that would have put Nez low enough that... Oh, it probably would have with, uh... I... 
It may have, I'm not sure, but it would have it would have been bad for sure. Um okay, well I can do this. The health flame that turn would have been quite good, but um a three cost far shot seems good. And in that case, I'm just gonna stay in Viz for the end of the turn. Okay, so let's just continue to block for Cornelius since he's the he's the taunting one right now. Um. <laughs> There was a time where I was, uh, when I was trying to do Evelyn tank on the highest madness levels. And, uh, so, so <laughs> my friends and I were playing and we just kept losing. And, uh, Evelyn was just not standing up to it. And so, um, the brilliant idea was to... <laughs> to bring a Heiner and put him in the second spot and have him cast defensive or use defensive spells on Evelyn. And uh, I think that's, that's the point when uh, we realized that uh, it was a pipe dream and uh, it, it, it wasn't quite Evelyn tanking anymore at that point. It was just Heiner tanking. I did eventually win a run with Evelyn tank on madness 15 which was sweet they have a video of it up on the channel this was before act four though so back when there were just the three acts um let's see i guess none of this i mean they we're all so slow Hmm. Okay, turn four wins, pretty decent. Um, this is a fight where you can get turn three wins, but not too bad. I will take a panacea, that's probably worth it. Okay, didn't get anything cool. Eh, nothing amazing, but, uh, I think, let's see, just take gold there, um, I don't know, we can just take gold. Oh, maybe I should have just taken the Acolyte's Tunic, or the Reinforced Armor, for Cornelius. Okay, so, this is never a guaranteed fight when there's a Dryad in it. Sometimes the Dryad just uh, decides to, to murder your team, so <laughs> that is a definite possibility. I guess I should have uh, done the site first. Um, her giving them a speed boost turn one is very bad for us. 
Now we just see if we can draw Steel Forge early enough to matter. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. So... I don't think that actually does anything. I guess we can just do that. Um. Let's give uh, Cornelius some reinforce so that he can slap against those uh, the thorns that are going to be out there a little bit easier. Okay, so Starfall, very bad. Okay, we are not in great shape right now. So we can we can maybe kill her. Yeah. Okay, so she's dead. Um I think we need to heal ourselves and then See if we can't find the steel forge. Um, there it is. Um, is there any reason to do this? I don't think so. I think it just heals us more if she's alive. Okay, so he is going to laser, but with the Steel Forge, I think we... Yeah, we should have enough block to be fine. And then hopefully we can find this uproot next turn. That would be very good for us. Um, let's give Sylvie some extra blocks. She was kind of low. Okay, so, um... I think Sylvie needs that, and then... Okay, so we managed to heal back up a decent decent amount. And let's uh, start in on the tree. So somebody had mentioned bringing the bleed that procs at the end of the turn and that uh, gives... Oh, wow, he has a lot of thorns. Um, we did, yeah, we did not find the uproot. Um, so yeah, somebody had mentioned bringing that version. Um, to the fight, and I think that one... 
maybe better. Like I think that one is probably worth it. Uh, this one right here. Uh, oh wait, no. Where is it? Yeah, we, uh, plus two charges, and then bleed on enemy deals damage at the end of turn and cannot be prevented by buffer or immunity to bleed. So I think there are some comps, and maybe Sylvie should be bringing those those talents. She does apply with uh, Harley bleed every turn, and so having like, I think from those talents would be five bleed, and it couldn't be prevented. So you'd be like put stacking bleed on the treat like the Elmer, also, which would be nice. Um, okay. So it looks like we are in the clear here. Oh. Oh, nice. That's very good for us. Um... Yeah, we have a bunch of block. He is going to heal up a little bit, but uh, he is vulnerable. Is at 11. He's got 66 sight on him. So we should be able to take him down pretty quick. Oh, <laughs> wanted to heal Yelmer, not him. Um, and the reason I didn't, like, actively try to remove the Sanctify is because this turn I knew that he wasn't actually attacking. He takes a turn off. Um, and so I thought it would be best to basically just deal as much damage as possible um, before his uh, following turn. Because if, if we can't kill him this turn, it's like a disaster. Because he just like laser beams again and the fight becomes very hard. So um, that was the plan. And uh, it's looking like we did manage it. We should be able to throw something thing or other some sort of damage over at him we unfortunately did not draw <laughs> any of these three cards which probably would have ended it all of them but uh, I guess we're already at great so like it doesn't actually matter that we end this turn versus the next Um, I think I can pass on those. Do I want another ammunitions? Um, I think we're probably okay. I don't think we need it. Um, Tome of Knowledge is, I think, pretty nice. It gives everyone Inspire and then... I think the, the upgraded version is pretty good. Um, do I want to shake it off? Um, we do just have the one dispel at the moment. I guess we have Panacea too. Hmm. Oh, then we're just going to take shards. Oh. Okay, well. Um, I unfortunately don't have any of the Thorns talents. This has to still be better, though. This is a crazy card. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Um, I think... Hmm. Yelmer's Prance is pretty good, but... Hmm. Six ways to proc it. Uh, plus one healing done. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna take gold. I don't. Maybe I should have taken one of those, but eh, yeah. Okay, so intact two. I guess the question is. I hadn't really thought this far um, into the run, so which act do I actually want to go to? For sure, we want to go to red at some point to get Tempest. Um. It could be that we want to go just right now. Um, it could be that we want to go to blue. Hmm. The Spider Queen's area. Getting Spider Queen Eye, I think, would be very good, too. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go get Tempest. I think that's fine. Um, this this fight is probably going to be pretty hard with Cornelius doing nothing, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, these items are not what I had hoped for. Um, okay, what, uh, <laughs> look at all those heat waves. Maybe I should have just gone blue act. These would have been quite good there. Um, okay, well, let me take out the stuff that I know I don't want. So those I know, um, I think I can take the fire blasts out. Or maybe an Ember Storm. Um, I think we can take these Vigilances out now and uh, that one. The Ice Shot. Let's see. For Heiner. These steel skins can come out for sure. Um, intercepts can come out. Mm, maybe a Sunder Armor can come out too. We have a lot of guards. I'm not sure if <laughs> those are all, all use, super useful. Um, hmm. Okay, well, uh, this run is actually getting, it's getting kind of late. Um, so I am going to call it for tonight. Um, I will be back for, uh, to finish up the run tomorrow, though. And, uh, yeah, uh, this has been a fun one. We'll, uh, we'll see uh, how we can do in the rest of the acts. So, uh, see you soon. Hey everyone, welcome back to Act 2. Um, this is a day or two later um, from when I first started the, the run. Um, let's uh, take a look and refresh myself about where we're at. Um, of these items, I don't particularly want any, I don't think. Um, I guess uh, Curse Dagger is three damage, but we're getting Tempest, which is going to replace it anyway, so I don't think that's super useful. Um, okay, so we did get a Shield of Thorns, which is interesting. Um, did we have any pets that we wanted? He has a Betty... Hmm. Would get a Champy to go with our Shield of Thorns. That's probably better. Um. 
Outside of that, I think we may just save the rest of our gold. Um, let's take a look at the decks. Um, I for sure want to upgrade the Ricochet. And probably this quick shot. I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's other ranged attacks I actually want. Let's see. Um... Ranged. Um, no, I think, I mean, <laughs> shrapnel shot's not the worst. We have the talent that uh, makes it so if you get 16 bull or crack on somebody, they get a vulnerable at the end of the turn. I think we still have that, right? Let's see. Yeah, we do. So, it's not the worst. I don't know that I want to buy it, though. So, I think that may just be it. We'll upgrade the quick shot and a hunter's mark. Um, and then let's take a look at Cornelius. So for Cornelius, um, I think I want a replenishment for him, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to upgrade this to spell magic, and we want for sure a detoxify. Probably two. And then we upgrade one like this and one like this. Um, I'm wondering if I... Yeah... So just trying to figure out how I want his deck to function, because normally, normally I go with the resourceful, but currently, um, because of how I built his deck in Act One, I don't know. Um, like a lot of the time, or how I used to do it, was I would leave the unupgraded. <laughs> um, the unupgraded expected prophecies in the deck. And then I would upgrade those in Act 2. So, And those are pretty good once you have Resourceful, because you have basically three extra mana turn for skills. Um, but that is n probably not the way I'm going to go this, this run. I'm going to think I'm going to do the other side. At which point, then, expected prophecies are not that great. Um, and we probably just want maybe like a fanaticism or something like that. Um, okay, I am going to need the other repair armor for sure. Where is that? I can never find stuff after Act 1, because it's all in different places, because new cards get re <laughs> unlocked. Um, okay. So we'll grab that. Um, I think we can get rid of this, and... Hmm. I mean, some of these would be good. I don't know that, like... Like, energy-wise, how much we're going to have. Um...
I mean, I could see just like some pummels. I don't know. Maybe that's bad. Maybe I'll I'll leave his deck mostly the same right now, and then maybe in act the act after this, in act four, I'll adjust some things, or like add some more attacks into the deck. I think I want the replenishment. Um, are there any cheap upgrades? These are 90. So these are cheap, but I don't. Those might be coming out of the deck. Hmm. I am not sure. So. Probably the heels can come out. I don't know. Maybe they're okay, though. I guess with the Panacea, it's, like, not the worst. I do want to take out cards, though, because, like, it's so expensive to take out cards later in the run. So I think we pull out that and hope we have enough healing here. I'm not sure, though. That could be incorrect. Um... This deck honestly feels fine. I'm not too worried about it. I could take out the Fire Blast. It's like... Not being used for much. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Um, okay. Uh, well, I think I'll go with that. I don't know if these are correct setups or what, but... Uh, so we have, so... We'll have to make do. Ay. Ay. Two fights with Lana. What's this way? We could not do the Colosseum. Go to the Goblin Chieftain instead. Um, kind of sad. Uh, let's try these Lana fights. Hopefully they won't be too bad. <laughs> so the seven buffer is quite annoying for sure. Hmm, I probably just want to do the double ricochet. Okay. So, we do wish we could have gotten some mark on the Sky Hunter, but. Um. Prayer of Healing, and then. And take a look here. Currently that bluff is pretty bad. Once we get the the level up, it'll be better. Okay. Some pretty good oh. <laughs> well, 
block won't last for very long. Unfortunately. The blow up all block is uh, quite annoying. Okay, not the most useless turn. It could have been better, but <laughs> he did get to use spells, so that's nice. Okay, nice steel forge. It's very good. Oh, I should have used the steel skin. I don't know what I was thinking. That would have been much better. Steel Forge being very good once again. So often I've had uh, all my damage dealers as uh, um, all my damage healers as like mages or healers that it, like a lana can just make like grind your whole fight to the to a halt and uh here with uh sylvie doing stuff then it's pretty easy to take out um take out lana without a ton of trouble i just need i really wanted the fanaticism to go above cap so that's why we did that <laughs> No, I, not that I just wasn't paying any attention. I could have been, couldn't have been that. Oh, I'm just shooting poor Cornelius. Okay. Ooh, Cornelius can cast spells. We love that. He says a pretty decent fire resist, but we get enough fire on anyone and their resist gets pretty bad, so. <laughs> Fifty floor blocks, not too shabby. fight this turn. I think it's pretty unlikely. Yeah, there's no way Nez and Heiner deal enough damage. But we have been pretty safe, so I don't mind uh, how this is going. There we go. Hmm. I don't think we need that. Vanishing two cards, I think, is worth that. Um, okay, yet another Lana fight. This time there's a Fisher in the fight. He does some interesting stuff, like throw frozen puffer fish in your deck. 
Um, which isn't too bad. It gets it doesn't stay in your deck, so it's not the worst. Okay, so no more buffer for Lana. Hmm. Oh, do they intimidate a tad too late? Um, can we get rid of the puffer fish? Uh, we probably can. Oh, no, we cannot. Okay. <laughs> Those are fine. We could not find it. The deck was too large. Well, some of those put it on top of your deck and some of them would just shuffle it in. So sometimes it's like better for it to be shuffled in and other times it's better for it to be on top. Um, since like if it's shuffled in, like you may not draw it the very next turn and then maybe you get to have a good turn before you find it. But it does allow you, like if it's on top, you're going to immediately draw it. But it does like allow the cards that um it does allow for it to actually um i think lethal shots fine we do which one to hit the lana um allow you to remove it if uh, you get something a card like that um I don't think I need the fanaticism at the moment. Maybe I should have swapped that over to the other version to give him extra energy. Currently in these fights he hasn't needed it because... Um, oof. Okay, well, this is going to hit him a little bit. Okay, so I think we do that, and then... I guess we're doing this anyway. Just give Heiner a little bit of extra energy. We can block for Cornelius a little bit. Recrack, we're on our way. When I had initially sort of started setting up this strategy, I had done it. Uh, does anyone else have something weird in their deck? No. Okay. Well, we'll just give it to Cornelius. Um, so I'd initially tried it with um, Evelyn in this spot. Um, because she has cold damage and she gets to then add a bunch of crack with uh, shatter um, to like then get the vulnerable and stuff going. Um, and I was just having a really hard time getting through act one. And so I was like, well, I'll try it with, uh, with Cornelius instead to see if uh, he, and, and it, it is true. He has a much easier time of getting through act one. So, um, I uh, I still do want to try a version with Evelyn. Because I think it's possible. I think you just have to have a better Act 1 fight. Um, and maybe you do just need to bring Bree to make the Act 1 fight a bit uh, more doable. Uh, make the, the Yelmer fight more doable. Okay... Can repair the armor. Huh. 
Okay. Hopefully we can heal up a little bit in this. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, he didn't actually do anything that time. Or that turn, so. Thank you, little guy. Mr. Fisher. Um... We just need, uh, hopefully Nez can <laughs> cast his heals. Oh, I should have done that first. Oh, well. We've been dealing some pretty decent thorn damage just with the shield of thorns, so. Card is just, uh, like, item is just insane. It does so much damage for just a single item. Oh, I need to go find my allergy medicine. My allergy is getting bad. Um, I still think I, the Heiner is the one who needs it the most. I guess I could have done that first, but ah, you healed the full at the end of turn, so. Um, it is a priority, though, for me to get some armor for Cornelius. He is, uh, he only has 79 health. That's crazy. He's so squishy. Um, I think I will take another healing rain for this act. I think it's fine. Our erstwhile frost mage would have loved this, but we'll uh, skip over that. I will take a deflect. That seems fine. Um, there are probably better attacks that we'll get. Okay, I'm going to pause it really quick and run and grab some allergy medicine, and I'll be right back. Okay, allergy medicine consumed, <laughs> and uh, we are back. Let's see. We are going to participate in the arena. It's going to be great. We really want to find this detection. Wait, I thought we had... How does this read? Sight on enemies remove stealth when applied. Oh, okay. So you have to apply sight on them to remove stealth, which uh, well, we didn't even need to. But uh, we could have done that with, like, we would have done that with uh, Oakley. So. <clears throat> Is there fortune telling use here? Maybe. Sure. <clears throat> Gonna have a fair amount of poison on him. I can draw one of these though. Okay, I think the others are gonna die, so let's uh, put this uh, target shooting on the spider. 
Ooh, new spider. Some pretty good damage. It's a lot of poison taken, though. <laughs> um. Okay, the immediate energy I think is going to be better than the the future stuff. So. Okay, good. We did find at least one. This is especially, uh, this is one of the um, big reasons why I wanted both um, the detoxes. Um, the one that gets bleed and poison and the one that gets just poison. Because there are fights where you want the one that gets just poison to like repeatedly use if you have like a fight with a news or um, like uh, mosquito fights and whatnot. This fight particularly, though, I know I'm going to face, right? I'm just always going to come to the... I'm always going to come to the arena, so... I know that there's going to be this uh, somewhat in crazy um, mosquito fight, um, and I want to have the... Uh, um, this other detoxify just to, for safety... Um, since it, that you definitely can die here if you, um, are somewhat casual about it. Um, and one thing I do really like about Cornelius in these runs is, huh, do I want... A spike shield. You probably don't. That is a pretty crazy upgraded electrocute. I'm gonna take it. That just seems too good to pass up. Uh, maybe that's wrong, but I. That's probably worth it. He'll eventually get uh, Phoenix, I think. Um, World in Flames is like, is good. Um, but I think Phoenix just, like, transforming his damage and whatnot and then resurrecting, like, there are just times when that's, it, 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 there isn't really anything else that can replicate what this does, where, I mean, this is just damage, so, I, I'm not sure on that, maybe I should be doing, maybe I should put a higher priority on the, the damage, but, that, that's a ways away, though, so we, are, we haven't even gotten our second level yet, so. Um, okay, so do I want a shadow step? I don't think so. If it were upgraded, I might take it. I don't think we need another detoxify. That's fine. These two are... Not what Nez is doing. Um, so then we have either a spike shield or a shield charge. I honestly think another shield charge might be okay. I don't know. Am, am I crazy? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe that's insane, but I it seems good. I don't know. Maybe spike shield is just fine. It is seven thorns. Let's see. So we get four thorns just for playing a car, a defense card. So like, not all that cool. I don't know. Um. <laughs> That's what I, 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 I'm doing what I feel like, so. We're gonna. I I want to see like how good multiple of these are. Um, I think if we get them upgraded eventually, um, they're pretty decent cards. Um, and I think uh, with the. Oh, I probably should have put that on Gonzo here, the assassin, just to get mar er, mark on the assassin.
Um, we'll just put in a bunch of scrolls of intellect into the decks. Those are good cards, so. Um, block the vulnerable from that, and we can banish here. Sure, take those out. I say this a bunch, but I love the music in this fight. It's so good. Uh, let's give it to Cornelius. He seems like he deserves some extra love. So this is... Uh, 39 block, 24 shield. And this will give us 42 shield. Nice. Or 42 of each, so. There was a bunch of healing there at the end of the turn. Oh, Zeus. Yeah, back there sleeping. Um, okay, so let's try to take out Gonzo now. The double hit on him was nice. Yes. Make me feel justified in taking another one. <laughs> Almost got it on round three, but we were close. Ooh, I will take a bludgeon. And this is good. There's another replenishment, but we already have the one. And being able to reduce the cost of this electrocute definitely makes it more likely that I will be able to play it. So, <laughs> um, do I want another fanaticism? I feel like I've had enough energy, so I don't think I want another one. Um, it does open up stuff, other cards in the future. Makes it so we can like play both of these, the, the Panacea and the Prayer of Healing in the same turn more often. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, da, 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 da. let's go with no for now. 
I'll get it. I'll get an upgraded one, or I'll just get a bunch of. Uh, um, where is it? Priest card. Draw. We're just gonna get some corrupted expected prophecies. And a bunch of uh, meditates, and we'll be fine. Some demonic tutors, why not? Okay, so then we can just get some extra mark on him. The dream start is to start with the target shooting, but uh, unfortunately not. Um... Actually, yeah, that seems good. Um, do I want to save energy for the replenishment? I think probably just deal the extra damage now. Maybe that was bad, though. Okay, Steel Forge, and then. Hmm. Let's go. We don't need block. That might have been a good turn to have some block. <laughs> We're not here to block, though. We're here to deal damage. Okay, well, can bring this back, which is cool. Oh, I forgot about this not being upgraded. It's not the best. So I guess we can can't really play that. Ooh, nice. We almost got there. If we had had target shooting turn one, he would definitely be dead right now. Then he wouldn't have summoned his, his, his friend. Okay. That, that, uh, Steel Forge, or not Steel Forge, the, uh, Steel Skin really does, uh, let us, uh, stack up our block pretty quickly. Maybe I should be feeding energy into Sylvie and card draw, but... How much energy does he have? Four? Okay, well... That seems fine. Someday we'll have extra crack. <laughs> and we'll start getting vulnerable out of it, but uh, that is not today. <laughs> At least not in this fight. Okay, I'll use double shield charge. It's pretty sick. These decks are doing pretty well. I'm uh, definitely am happy about how uh, everything's uh, rolling out. I'm feeling. Let's see. 
He is a dead guy. Let's see how much damage we can deal, though. This is probably the most. Oh, we even get to do these? Oh, look at us go. Heiner. He's the real chant hero here. <laughs> how many is too many? I will take another mind vision, though. Ooh, and a scorching uh, ray is really good. Um, do I want a chant of accuracy? Or an explosive shot? It is upgraded. Um, uh, the issue is it's not very good. It may be, maybe it's okay. Um, if they have a bunch of burn on them, then like, it's probably a decent, but like, it only gets basically, if we have a bunch of sharp, it's only getting one stack of it sharp from this, like the extra sharp damage, where something like rapid fire, it's getting three extra stacks, right? So, um, do I want a chant of accuracy? I think probably not. We can just do other stuff. Okay, I think I think the third shield charge might be a bit much. We've got the two though. Well, whoa, I think that that's that's plenty for now. Okay, so we've got a Lancelot in this fight. A Mugar up here. I don't think any of us interact with this altar. Uh... Huh. Can we do this? It's a really good battle shout. Hmm. Oh, nobody here is dealing like lightning damage, so it is just the extra storm damage. Ah, man, I, I do not know. Um. Let's try it. If we die, it'll probably be right here. <laughs> right about when this is used. Or maybe on like turn three after the third one of those is used. <laughs> eee, that is a, quite a lot of damage. Okay. Maybe I should have just uh, or put the buffer on myself and used it, but. Burn is actively good here since it gets rid of the wet on us, which we don't want. Um, I think we just get a bunch of block. Oh, her being invisible for it. Oh no, she wasn't invisible. She had mark on her, so nice. Okay, his like vitality thing. When we have Bree, we often have like a bunch of vitality, but the removing vitality here doesn't seem to be very effective.
you have the correct targets locked in, Sylvie. Um, okay, so let's get rid of that before his turn, and then I think we just want to try and keep everyone safe, so let's do more dispelling than damage at the moment. Well, this is quite good, removing... Oh, it didn't remove it from us, that's kind of sad. Okay, we get to do some fun stuff here. Um, is he dead? I don't know the order of stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that just in case. But okay, I think we are safe. So we got a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet card for our troubles here. I think we're going to level up soon, too. Yeah, we're very close. Ooh, I could take a sniper shot for next turn. Someday I'll cast you Electrocute. I guess I cast it in twice in the last fight, so it's already paying more dividends than I thought it might. <laughs> eh, those are fine. Let's see, 83. We could, we could pump that up a little bit. 112. That is so, so close to lethal. Oh, the little squirrel noises. Oh, he's gonna die to the floor. <laughs> that was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Ooh, almost got it. Harley will end the fight, though. We didn't even get to use our sniper shot. Oh, nice. Um, I will take Anthem of Hopes. They're just very good. And nothing there. Do I want another ammunitions? I think it's actually okay with the... Uh, with Tempest that we're going to be grabbing. Uh, Infernus is sweet. Um, I'll come back to that. Fire starter is awesome. Um, range mastery is for sure the way to go. Um, and then... <laughs> so we already we have one two three basically two cards in the deck that currently benefit from um resourceful but we can get more Whereas Mind Leech just, uh... Is like a chunk of extra healing. Um, like the Mind Devour double activation. I, hmm. I do think his deck just functions much better with Resourceful. Yeah, 
I'm going to take it even though, like, I think I had planned to do this, but I think just again, on Madness 16, you'll notice, like, almost all of my, uh, three of my choices were all the uh, cost reduction stuff. You just get so much less energy um, at the high madness levels, and then, um, and so finding ways to sort of alleviate energy issues is there. For for Heiner, I think Iron Furnace is just like really good. I think it um, lets him use cards like Bluff, um, Shield Charge, and then you just get like some zero cost like repair armors. So and then like your you can like a play occasionally play your guards or your steel skins or whatever to alleviate the rest of the energy stuff and I think that just really does end up being quite quite effective. Um, so yeah, that's sort of my my thoughts there. Uh, Altar of Storms. Let's just go here. We will accept and look for his books. Um, and then yeah, let's come up this way. So. This is a very hard one. Um, the, I guess, hmm. The two sads is like, <laughs> it, it's interesting because if you could, end the, whew, if you can end the fight early, um, it really isn't that bad. Um, like if, if, if the first time through your decks, you're like getting close to killing them, then it's not that bad, but like once once you get to the turns where your deck is like six sads and like two cards, and then you start your turn and they put two more sads in your deck or whatever, like <laughs> it's 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 pretty bad. So oh man, thirty percent off. Mugar. I mean, this fight doesn't look all that bad, honestly. Like. Hmm. I do not know. <laughs> this one, I want to do this so bad, but I always like underestimate melancholy. So let's just uh, let's continue on. We don't have our tempest yet. I'm slightly off ordering there. That's fine, though. Um, Kiner. And then I want to kill Mugar first. Um, he he does some annoying things if he stays alive. There is a hatch in there. Did anyone else get hatches? I think it's just the one, right? Ooh, we found it. Nice. Oh, I probably should have gotten rid of the Sunder Armor. I don't think he's casting that very often. Um, let's gain some energy. That healing rain has been pretty bad. I probably shouldn't have taken it. And then let's use this for some blocks so that we can hopefully proc Steel Forge. Nice. <laughs> the zero damage shield charge coming in clutch right there. Okay, heat laser and a big steel skin. Basically two energy for 120 block right there. Um, quite effective, I think. 
Now, sadly, we did not save energy for the replenishment that turn. We probably should have. If I am thinking back on it, um, we get to get rid of the magic mushroom. Probably this guard. Probably don't need the steel skin at this point. Okay, fruit. Doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> yeah, the spider went invisible. So yeah, him him summoning mosquitoes. Like if he ever summons the double mosquitoes in the fight, you just like feel awful about it. So, um. Ow. I got disarmed. <laughs> oh, that is the one thing um, that uh, about uh, the Iron Furnace talent um, with Heiner is that like getting disarmed is so much worse um, <laughs> when you're when you're trying to uh, block along with the. Uh, deal damage i guess i should have cast these mine blasts first but yeah when your block comes from attacks like getting disarmed is a an issue for sure okay a chunk of damage from the thorns. We are currently still disarmed, unfortunately. <laughs> we will have a lot of block, though. Okay, that fight was pretty simple. Um, I don't think we want another battle shout. It costs three. We, can, we have other stuff we want to be doing with that energy. We get to throw the sack of grain and she brings us she flies away and then brings us a chest. Pretty cool. Um, cool. So we got a cloak of speed, which is awesome. Um, Heiner doesn't need any of that. Um, okay, so who's getting what here? The Stormcaller's Feather. Kind of nice. Um, I don't know if it's better than Belfour's Pipe. And who do I want Cloak of Speed on? I probably want Cloak of Speed on Cornelius. I think. So at that point, do I just get a Stormcaller's Feather on Nez? Having a zero cost chain lightning doesn't seem awful, but it doesn't seem great either. So maybe I just take gold? And the lovely Tempest. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, let's take a look at Tempest. So. Yeah, four, four extra piercing damage, three times a turn when you play a range attack, draw a card, and gain two sharp. Which, with her current deck setup, if we look at it, she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
um, ranged attacks in her deck that, uh, I mean, these sort of count, but, um, and so basically she's going to be drawing three extra cards per turn along with getting six sharp a turn. Wait, is it, e wait, is it even more? No, right? Two? I don't know. It might be. It depends. I didn't even look at what this fight was. Um, yeah, this seems fine. Um, and so she's going to be dealing a ton more damage now. Like, it's... it's I'm excited. Ooh, Granulius, you're fast now. Look at you go. Okay, uh, um, mm. <laughs> it's kind of sketchy. Um, this guy just does heat transfer. I just remembered. So he will be like, uh, ooh, we can do, this is actually pretty sweet. <gasps> Wait, three costs? That's just so good. I gotta do it. Okay, so we aren't. We don't have enough energy for this because we want to. We want to be able to play this. So let's do this first, and then. <laughs> that was cool. Oh my gosh! If we had had this already, <sighs> think of the damage. Um. But, yeah, so this guy does heat transfer, which uh, will... Okay, we don't need that. Probably don't need that. The others are fine, I think. Oh, maybe that, too, we can get rid of. Um, which he will then give one of our team his uh, his block. Or his, his burn. So, not ideal for us. Okay, that, I mean, that was a pretty good recovery from having... getting murdered. Hopefully, uh... Looks like he's, uh, he's doing just fine. Ooh, also that one, too. Where is it? Yeah. X equals your burn. Yeah. I think he does heat transfer next turn. So, if we slow him, I think we may be able to kill him before he then goes, which would be great. Um, let's see what we draw. What else can we draw? More quick shots? Um, I guess it's probably better to use a rapid fire than it is to use a camouflage so okay yeah so you already up to 15 sharp this is round two we haven't really used any of our specific like sharp cards uh, okay you he <laughs> Heiner needs some help here we could lend a hand Oof. At least he's super slow. So Nez can hopefully help him out before his uh, his turn. Okay, Let me save energy. <clears throat> so let's 
Give him some energy. You can do a heal. So I was thinking, oh, I'll just uh, kill this guy on on the next turn, and then it turns out that the next turn, uh, the hatchling spawned and uh, ruined all our plans. So this spider is going to get another turn, unfortunately. Um, let's see. So this is 27. Maybe I just get more block. I think that's fine. We're getting like 20 block per thing. So... That's quite mean, guy. Yeah. It's quite mean, Ooze. We had a lot of block we were doing there. We, we had it already. Um, okay, ammunitions. Sure, we'll grab a multi shot. Hey, I would really like to dispel that poison and maybe heal Heiner a little bit. <laughs> oh, I should have used the... We still were not able to dispel the poison. Is it better to just let... Yeah, it's probably better to just end this here. Before Heiner's turn. Still at 100, so... Um, here, I'll take an upgraded pummel. Do I want a heal back in the deck? Ooh, combustion. I'll take that. Scavenge is okay... I think it's amazing though. Um, we were sort of running out of ways. Oh gosh. What is this? Um, okay, well we can't take that. They're, they would have just an insane amount of uh, fury by the end of it. I don't know that I've seen double Lanas in fights before. I don't remember seeing it, at least. <clears throat> uh, I will save. It would be nice to be able to replenish my inner electrocute if needed. Okay, well, let's put something cool in here. Maybe a plague shot. Sure. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> um. I guess we just stop there. I'm not in love with it, but I don't really want to proc this twice. Um. I think, let's see, seven vulnerable is a lot. Uh, 
Okay, can we live through this turn? It's a scary one. Ow. Okay, so these guys are just uh, doing that. So this is actually okay for now. They do have infinite mitigate though, so that's that's, that's pretty annoying. Uh, replenishment, heat wave. Okay. That turn brought to you by Tempest. <laughs> I forgot it was that one. Probably should have left the burn on him, but... Well, I guess I can just do this all. Does he... Shatter... Block? I don't think he does. Okay, so I think we... I think we're through the... The worst of it. I think we can just try to heal back up now. I think the thing I'm missing on... Oh, gosh. <laughs> that seems quite good. Um, I think the thing I'm missing on Nez is a big heal that uh, he can use. Like, we have the prayer of healing, but it'd be nice if there were sort of like a, if one of the, one of the five cost ones were able to, to do that. Um, man, that seems like such a waste. I'm just going to prismatic field. And then we can cast the tome. Um, cause I, I think having like a, the, the five cost one that like, uh, gives uh, zero damage, huh? Um, it gives a bunch of regen and whatnot would be great. Yeah. The, the mitigate really makes those uh, multi hits quite poor. Cool. Um, ooh, well, that's probably worth taking. Oh, flash freeze is insane. We'll always take that. Um, do I want a detection or another detection? I think it's fine. And then innervate versus inner fire. I think swapping to this innervate version <clears throat> seems pretty good. So, sure, I'll take it. <clears throat> okay. This Harpy Stormcaller helps us hopefully not die.
Okay, we managed to get rid of all of the little guys. Um... So, I think everyone having Reinforce is going to be better than the Steel Forge, even though the Steel Forge was quite a ton of blocks, so maybe I should have just done that, but... Okay, well... These are just bad. This might be okay, I don't know. That's prob- oh, well, this is... Those are probably bad. I don't... Yeah. I guess this one stays in the deck, so... Um, yeah, I don't think him adding burn charges out in the world, or <laughs> adding burn into the world is a very good thing in this fight, so... Let's uh, just avoid that and do uh, use our other stuff. We can do this just to get it out of the deck and get us back to our... Oh, you know, the replenishment leaves the deck. Okay, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Cornelius is pretty useless in this fight. Uh... Well, that was bad. I did not think about that. Uh Oh no. Well, Heiner's dead. That probably loses us the fight. Let's see here. Is there any recovering from this? <laughs> probably not. I think we are dead though. I mean, we're gonna just use this to proc it. I don't know. Yeah, I shouldn't have taunted. That's ew. I keep forgetting that he does like the how much damage that does. Okay. Back up some mark. Okay, so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> hmm. Turns out Sylvie's just bonkers. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay, well, I, I thought we were doomed. It turns out so we can just murder that guy with, like, <laughs> no issue at all. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Um, sharpening knife. That's probably worth it. it does, it's just like seven sharp for two energy and like, yeah, I'm down for that. Take another combustion and uh, doing a purging ray or a holy fire. Let's try some holy fire. I think that's going to be good. Ooh. Ooh. 
Hmm. And a divination orb? Oh my gosh, this shop. Um... Man, so... Well, Take X is pretty funny with Heiner. But I think I'm just... Do I just take it on Cornelius? Hmm. Yeah, I'd probably take it on Cornelius. Um... So that means that, well, hmm. I could take this on Heiner and then take Lava Crystal on Cornelius. It gives us a little bit better use of the items here. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's probably not worth it. Um, he gets too much out of the, the six burn application on hit. It's pretty crazy. Um, and then I think here... Hmm. I think the lava crystal is pretty valuable. With how much damage she's dealing, like, having her gain extra powerful seems quite nice. It's either that or Boots of Swiftness, but this is only 3% extra resist and some speed, but I think the damage is just going to be better. Okay, well, after, th <laughs> after that... Um... Okay, so do you want to go to blue or green? Hmm... So there's some good stuff in green for Nez. You get Spider Queen's Eye, which is amazing. Um, in blue, there's... Hmm. I'm trying to think in blue if there's like a path that I know of that's really great. I don't think so. I think Spider Queen's Eye is going to be better than anything that I know of in blue. So let's go to green and uh, take the bottom path. <laughs> what a fight! <laughs> I'm still just amazed by that. Um, uh, okay, so... Let's see. Okay, so we have a plate mail. It's very good. There's seashell ring, hmm. life essence. Okay, well first let's get these test doors out of the deck. Uh, there was a brief moment when we had them. They never drew them, which is a nice, nice feeling. Um, Okay. Well, I think I'm buying a plate mail for Nez. And then... Hmm. What else? We could do... A life essence for somebody... Um, there's a diamond ring, seashell amulet. I mean, seashell amulet could be interesting. We don't really have much of anything to do with it, but life essence. I think the stone amulet is just better. So for, for Heiner, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I could just grab a diamond ring for somebody. Like make... Cornelius tankier? Yeah, I think that's probably what I'll do. Yeah, that seems good. He was quite squishy. 
Um, okay, so now for cards in deck. So we did spend all our gold, so we can't remove anything. So let's take a look at what we've got going here. I think I upgrade this to stay in the deck. I think that's fine. And then I wanted this version. Um, so that I can uh, cast it more often. Um, it's also, oh, it's nice too that it now is dealing burn damage because of the, the axe stuff. Um, okay, so we need some more skills. This one is an absolute must. It's just like probably one of the best cards that uh, exist in the game. At least in my opinion. Um, uh, giving an inspire to everyone each turn is just very good and it, it costs one energy with his upgrade um, to reduce skill costs so uh, it's just uh, the, the courage is there too which is doing stuff but um, oh right so switch this over to the one cost version because we want this to proc our resourceful so we could we proc the site on the enemies um yeah circle feeling would be sweet i would enjoy that um let's see what else what other skills are cool let's see skill uh, oh, we should probably buy an expected prophecy and upgrade it. Hmm. It would be nice to have more dispel magics. That's what we really want. We just want as many dispel magics as they'll give us. Um, okay, I'm going to swap well, yeah, I will swap this over to the, the other version. And then I think in this act, I want to detoxify. There's just so much poison randomly going around that I think that's definitely going to be worth it. Um, this is now always two cost. There used to be a one cost version, which is sweet, but... Um, Yeah, we definitely want this version. I'm never... I don't think I'm ever casting this on a person. Like, me... Uh, you, you maybe could, but... Like, it, I guess if they had buffer, you could block the... The paralyze. But, like, it just seems so... It's so good on enemies that, like... Using it on, a, on one of our own characters would be, like, seems insane. So... Mm, this Intimidate should cost zero, I think. I think upgrading the Blood Rage is going to be worth it. And then, let's see. Making this two cost would allow me to play it quite a bit more, but... What's the upgrade for this? Point one per. Uh, that upgrade's not very good. This one might be okay, but I feel like we're okay on that side. Um. I could make these camouflages burn or draw. Maybe that's good. Could have one that stays in the deck. I don't know. I think getting through the deck quicker is going to be good. Oh, 
Okay, well, I think that's uh, all of the upgrades that we can do. Oh, I should have upgraded this healing rain. Ah, oh, no. That's definitely what I should have done. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's, we spent all our, our resources, so. Oh, the bunny. Uh, the bunny has taken us out in the past. Um, it's time to get our revenge. We just gotta make sure to kill it quickly, and if we don't, then, um, figure out a way to murder all its children. Okay. It is immune to burn. That is quite unfortunate. Aww. This is as good as time as any to use that. Um... Okay, let's hope we don't die using this. Definitely don't want to target anything else. No, it wasn't even doing anything in this turn. Probably should have used that on, like, this guy. But... Because now he has mitigate and stuff. That's annoying. Owl hooing as he's as arrows rain down on him is just that's so good. I love it. Um, sure. Let's see. Those all seem fine. Um... Okay... Let's, uh... Continue to just slap this rabbit. Does he heal the lowest person? Nice. This bruiser being low health was uh, very nice. Okay, rabbit down. He can no longer haunt our nightmares. Oh, I guess I should have done this first, but oh well. Poof. Um, eh, this sharpening knife has not been very good yet, but 
We also have not been... using our energy very effectively. Okay, let's do some shouting, some hitting, and sure, we can steal forge. Let's sit up, this run has been going on too long. Um, a lot of random stuff running around um okay so he's down and we just have the two left okay let me look at this guy's spells i don't know that i've reviewed them much before okay well not too bad. <laughs> Sylvie is taking over the damage charts. Um, find weakness. It's probably pretty decent. A vile gas to well I think we have enough just random stuff. We could buy a vile gas in the next shop if we want to. Do I wanna find weakness? It is upgraded. I think it's probably decent. What is the zero cost version? Yeah, let's 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 grab it. I I think the uh Okay. Yeah, I think the vulnerable will be nice. So we definitely want the stone mall. That one's pretty decent. Um no rings here, so I don't think we take any of this. We could take a mana potion, but yeah. Uh, I will keep the resist for now. And then let's fight both to prove your superiority. I'm going to run to the bathroom quickly and uh, um, refill my water. But uh, I will be back in just a sec. Okay, let's get into it. Well, let's see if we can Yeah, that'll be good I think we just want The extra um, Energy For, like, the replenishment Like, to make sure we can replenishment When we Like, we can hopefully find it and then use it Um Okay. Ooh, barricade's nice. Um, I think we do that. Maybe I should have tried to get more block on Heiner.
This looks like we'll be okay. At least for this turn. Ice water is amazing. Okay, um... I think we stop this guy's turn, because I think he might be doing mean stuff next turn. Sure. I think he might be whirlwinding next turn, which is... Uh, well, I would hope to dodge. That'd be nice. Um, I think I'd skip out on the camouflage and I just use all of the attacks. But maybe oh, I could camouflage ammunitions. Eh. Yeah, maybe that's fine actually. Uh, we could do a far shot. That seems good. Okay, get to bluff, and then... Hmm... Is it better to... I think this is probably best, and then we guard. Okay, let's. I, I really want to kill the stalker. I think he is one of the more dangerous, to, probably the most dangerous enemy in this fight. Uh, I could kill Sauron, but. Hmm. Okay, okay, cool. We did dodge the Whirlwind, which would have been very bad with our block being torn off this this turn. Um, that's why, especially on, like, Hype Madness levels, Flash Freeze is just, like, once you sort of learn the enemy attack patterns and whatnot, it is invaluable. Sure. Okay, Sylvie coming out with the damage. Okay, so I can use this one first and then follow it up with that. Seems cool. gonna be our first stack of uh a vulnerable given <laughs> it may be that'll be cool i do have one more resourceful stack uh, we don't need those anymore we just want damage Let's see. 
Oh, he <laughs> dispelled it. Oh. My talent has been worth nothing so far. And shoot, and then do one of these. And do some more shooting. I guess I should have done that first for the mark, but he is very dead. Okay, and back to the talk to somebody really quick. Um, so, invigorating blow. I don't think we have the energy to use that. Profane. If it were the two, I think we just skip most of this. Yeah. Let's see what we find useful. Ooh, an endless bag. That's quite good. Um, a handbook, mystic staff. Um, hmm. So I was planning on taking rusty armor on Sylvie. Um, But I may just take Endless Bag on her now. I think Endless Bag is, like, quite good over there. Um, oh, wait. Oh, no. I should I should put Endless Bag on Cornelius. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be much better. Um, yeah, that'll be great. Um, so, I, yeah, definitely not taking anything here. Could take 7 HP on a ring. <laughs> Seems pretty bad. If he dies and he wouldn't have died with 7 HP, then uh, we know we know why. So endless bag and then rusty armor. You used to not be able to take rusty armor on rogues or scouts because uh, they had extra vulnerable charges. Um, but now they don't, so... Or, like, you don't have to have them. You could take it. But anyone can take it, so... Um, so now it's just one vulnerable per hit. And, like... Um, yeah, there's some fights where you're, you'll get some extra vulnerable. But, like, compared to... She had a thing that gave her... Um, what was it? Like, seven resistance. So you have to have quite a bit of vulnerable to like outweigh the 25 extra resist you're getting here and the health so um i think it's worth it um we can come over here just for the uh uh just for the points um i guess we could have taken an extra shop here but that was probably a pretty easy one, but I wasn't thinking about it very much, so. Okay, so again, we need to kill Monty before you kill anyone else. That is the whole goal. This time he's not immune to burn, so that'll make things quite a bit easier. <laughs> um... Hmm. This is probably... Yeah, because somebody will be able to give him the... Um, the extra energy and draw. Okay. I 
think these are just going to be better. Gives a little bit more healing and whatnot. Oh, okay. Nice. This is a very good start. Hopefully this guy doesn't just bash it off of and bash the uh, uh, block off of us. That would be pretty disappointing. Um, probably a bit too expensive for those. Oh, that's fine. Um... Okay, nice. So, we're pretty safe here. We did remove our thorns, which is annoying, but we have plenty of other damage, so. So, somebody did draw a way to give him energy, and I used it somewhere else instead. <laughs> so... Too bad on that front, but this will be a fairly good turn. And there we go. Monty down. Mm. That's quite a lot of block to get. <laughs> 120 block for, for two is uh, something I find hard to pass up, so. Oh, that would have probably didn't want to get rid of that, so the burn. Once again, our non healing grade upgrade coming to remind us how sad it is. Okay. So this is five, there's two, I could do both. We'll deal some damage, that's fine. Um, I maybe could have played I picked a different card there on the ammunitions or just not cast it. But uh, those have been pretty good. I've been pleasantly surprised with how how effective those have felt. Okay, we can just end the fight here. Ooh, Spark of Life upgraded is pretty nice. Do I want a Wrecking Ball? <laughs> hmm. Living Flame is actually not bad either. 
Another ammunitions. This one starts in the hand. Eh. Probably okay. Uh, living flame, living flame, living flame. I think I'll pass on it. Actually, no, nah, it's, it's good. It's good. I think. This is sweet, though. This is just like a, a decent heal. Um, and it's free. Spark of Life is quite good. Hmm. I'll try this out. This seems fine. If I get an upgraded Wrecking Ball, I'll take it, I think. <laughs> Paid off for our, uh, <laughs> with, a, with a brass amulet. It's pretty nice. Um, don't think I need anything there. Okay, so. I think the brass amulet's probably better on Sylvie. Um... I don't believe we have any way of adding Mark to people. So maybe we just grab the gold here. And some more gold. And... Yeah, let's, let's take a Brass Amulet. I think that's probably better than the Powerful. Maybe it's not. The Powerful was quite good. We'll see. So I recently finished, um, I've been going back and rereading Way of Kings and Words of Radiance, and I finished Words of Radiance um, before I started reading more Joe Abercrombie. Um, and, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, and now I'm like debating on, I, I'm definitely going to, finish up the Joe Abercrombie books that I'm reading um, in his like first law stuff. Um, but I'm like trying to decide what I want to do after that. Um, I still have uh, uh, da, 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 da. Um, I still need to finish Wheel of Time. I'm, I'm on, like, book nine. And, uh, <laughs> I just have never, like, I, I started reading something else, right? And then, as always, like, now, now it's been, like, a couple of months. It's been maybe, like, six months, seven months since I read book nine of Wheel of Time. And so I'm now, like, I have no idea what's going on there. And I'm just, like... <laughs> super lost and very uh confused at what what's what's happening and so i need to like read some summaries or something of like what what was going on so i could then figure out what i, I like how to get back into it because i do enjoy wheel of time but um and i'd like to finish it i've i've heard that like books uh somewhere around books like eight and nine starts getting a little slow so um, and like some people don't like the, some of the characters and whatnot that are introduced and just like so big that everything moves at a pretty plodding pace, um, cause there's just so many characters running around. Um, I could definitely see that being, being the case. Um, hmm. Slightly unfortunate here that we can't, uh empty our hand but uh, 
So yeah, I'm now like... Do I just do Wheel of Time? Do I... Um, once I finish all the first law and then the new trilogy, I may wait on the new trilogy. I think I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm reading the heroes right now, but, uh, I may wait on the new trilogy until it's out, like fully out. Cause I know the third book hasn't come out yet. Um, so there's that, but wheel of time. I've heard it's definitely worth it to finish it off. Um, I, I definitely, I, I eventually will, but. For Wheel of Time fans, uh, what have you, what have you thought of the, the show so far? The, the first season? I, my expectations were very low, and so I actually enjoyed it enough. Like, I, um, I watched it with some friends and and uh, and whatnot, and they all like act quite enjoyed it. And so, um, I I think it actually does a pretty good job of what it's trying to do. There are obviously things I think I I disagree with quite a lot, and ways that I think it it could have been better. But like overall, for what it, for what it is, I I I thought it was okay. I am very excited for the... <laughs> Look at this hand. <laughs> I am very excited for the... Um, the One Ring show. Like, I... Um, am... Yeah, like, I... I think it could be really cool, so... I also am wondering about the the new Game of Thrones show because, God, the last season was so bad that it just put such a sour taste in my mouth that I haven't wanted to go back and like rewatch any of it. Um, but the I've heard good things about this newest season, and so I'm now like, mm, or about the new show. So I'm now like wondering maybe. I'm probably going to give it, like, I'll probably let the full season sort of come out and see what people say about it in the end, and then maybe just binge watch the whole thing. Um, do I want a dark ritual? I don't think so. I could take a dark future. It's actually not bad. Hmm. Living Flames probably better. Yeah, no, this this costing two instead of one is like... Ah, uh, I already have a Living Flame. We could take a Shield Breaker. That seems like it could be useful at some point. I've tried Fusion Laser. I don't like it. Um, I think Last Guardian is just so much better. It is an insane card. Very good. Uh, the Chosen One, also very good. Insane card. Um, so here is a question. We do have... Oh, but five burn damage. Or five fire damage is pretty crazy. The World in Flames is... Just like three free Ember Storms? No, we'll take Phoenix. We'll play on the safe side. Um, Hawkeye. I don't think we're really doing that much. And then, yeah, we'll take a double shot. That seems fun. Um. Do Also, I'm not sure this is, I've talked a lot about dif different fantasy series as I've been going through runs. Um, and I think um, my, my favorite fantasy series 
by far is Robin Hobb's Realm of the Elderlings series. It is so good. It starts with Assassin's Apprentice and goes on from there. It is a masterpiece. She is... Oh, she's so wonderful. And uh, her books are just outstanding. It's actually... She's the reason I got started on Sanderson because uh, I had just finished her all, like, all of her books. Um, it, she hadn't finished the series at that point, but I was I had gone through everything that had been written so far which was like 12 or so books at the time um, and uh, so I was looking for something to read and I think uh, my brother had given me Mistborn to read because he had really liked it um, he'd given me the first trilogy of books um, and inside the like the the Uh, the quote from inside the book for the first Mistborn book was a quote from Robin Hobb saying, like, I love this book. It's, it's really great. It has a super satisfying ending. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome. And so I was like, ooh, like, I guess I'll, I guess I'll read this because, uh, Robin Hobb likes it. And, uh. And so I started into Sanderson and Mistborn and, and all of his Cosmere books. Um, but originally it was my obsession with a with Robin Hobb's books that sort of got me back into reading fantasy, which is amazing. I love fantasy so much, so I have to, like I credit her for for getting me started. And uh, um, her books are just like. Oh, they're so good. I remember. So, I was reading about this uh, the quote that uh, Sanderson gave, or that uh, Robin Hobb gave to for Mistborn, and that, Mistborn was like right when um, Sanderson was just getting started, and they so they had at, his publisher asked him like, "Hey, do you want us to send your book to anyone?" Um, for a quote and uh, Sanderson was uh, wasn't totally sure about it and sort of just uh, offhandedly said oh well, yeah send it to like thought about it a bit and then um, was like really loved Robin Hobb's books and said hey like send it to like can you send it to Robin Hobb to see if she'll she'll um, give a quote for it and so and that was the that was the one author he asked to send the book to, <laughs> send the the first Mistborn book, and uh, and then so Robin Hobb got it and uh, uh, it sat on like it, she then um, in her little quote for it said yeah I got this and it sort of sat on my shelf for quite a while, and then ended up picking it up and just like went through the whole thing and loved it and. It's like it gives all these points of uh, why she thinks it's great, and uh, and yeah, it was a. Uh, it's a. Uh, and so the, the the one person that he was like, oh, I, you need to send this to to them was Robin Hobb, and and she then read it and loved it, and and that's ah, uh, oh, it's just so good. Anyway, that's all meaning to say, if you haven't read Assassin's Apprentice. Go pick it up because it's 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 outstanding. Okay.
Okay, I am back. Um, don't need any of those. I thought about this one a little bit. I don't think I want any of it. Divine power could be interesting, but we don't have any way to keep the blast stacks around, and it's not upgraded. If it were upgraded, I might take it. But um, Recurring Nightmare, I think, is better than Pyroblast. Um, so I'm going to take that. Um, I wouldn't mind a Pyroblast in the future, but I think right now it's fine. Um, and then I will take another Ammunitions. Uh, it's basically like finding a ranged attack that costs one less. Um, it, we do lose that out on draw, but I think it's worth it. And then we are just going to combat these guys. Okay, Heiner getting <laughs> beat up quite badly. Okay, let's see here. Let's do that. Having the endless bag makes the um, scrolls of intellect in the in the deck quite a lot better. So. Okay, and this time I am going to give the energy to Cornelius just to make sure he has that. Um, and then, yeah, let's reveal the mosquitoes. Oh, these aren't great. Maybe this one. Sure. We'll mark up the front uh, mosquito just because that's the one that Heiner can hit. And let's, let's do a bluff, and I think Last Guardian will be better. Um, if he gets damaged, he'll proc it, and the resist is really great, so. So it's Mind Vision's back, and then just do a couple of these. Um, probably don't need the shield breaker in this one or that. Um, uh, something like that should be okay. Okay, Heiner. Heiner is in trouble. I think we... <laughs> ah, okay. Oh no. He is dead. Taunting was not the right choice there. That's my bad. <laughs> um... I guess I will do this. It's probably fine. Um, sure. Killing the mosquito seems good. And uh, the volley seems decent. Zero cross trapnel shots, nice. Okay. Well, we lost Heiner there. <laughs> An unfortunate, unfortunate accident uh, came about. <laughs> But the mosquitoes are down, and uh, we're, <laughs> we're back to normal. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I definitely could have played that better. I don't I don't think he dies at all if uh, 
he isn't taunting there, so. Um, let's use this. That seems fine. And then we can detection and set up the double shot for next turn. I'm not sure that we're going to need it. They may be dead here after Cornelius' turn. But uh, I guess we'll see. Ah, no, he is not doing very much damage at all. Okay. Oh, oops. I should have done these first. Okay. This spell, and then this guy just does some small damage. 107 there with Harley. It's <laughs> pretty good. Um, don't need that. I think we're fine on combustions. We've got two of them. So, I think that's okay. And then, Prayer of Healing, probably not. Grab at this rope. Oh. She shoots a grappling hook arrow and sticks it to the ceiling of the cave. Ooh, nice. And then Heiner can crush right through that. Um, so we have pets on everyone, so I think... I do think this is still the way to go, but we can just... Uh, we can just uh, get the items here. Looks like they aren't very good. <laughs> I don't think these are ever very good, so uh, we'll just take gold, I think. I could take a mana potion here, but it's just going to get replaced soon anyway, so. Well, we can burn them to a crisp. That seems, that seems productive. He also catches our team on fire, but I mean, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, the pendulum spider is a demon that needs to die. <laughs> um. Um. This is probably better. I don't know. I don't know. These turns are very weird. Um, did somebody? Oh, we have a death door here. So maybe if we get lucky, we can find it. Oh, it was right on top. Nice. Um, we can just get rid, oh, I guess, uh, those. It's only the two. Here, one sec. Okay, back from my quick break. Let's see. Let's get, uh, ah, a bunch of block is fine. This fight should be pretty good. I don't think uh, it's a pretty good start to it. A good time to draw the amnesia. <laughs> Oh, 
Or bluff. This thing has 95% blunt resist. Sheesh. It uh, does not care for hammers, apparently. Uh, da, da, da. let's see. Just the one spider left. It can't burrow because of the nice mark there. Let's see. Close call this fight. The uh, Cornelius has the advantage of just dealing a ridiculous amount of uh, burn damage to spiders. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. Backstab isn't a ranged attack, so none of that. Shifting scroll. That's probably worth it. I like shifting scroll. Um, holy fire. I don't think I want another one. Do I want either of these? I in general I think bludgeon is good. But it does cost three energy, and we don't have a ton of extra energy running around, so I think I'm gonna not grab it. Oh, maybe I should have maybe I should have grabbed the uh, shoots a cobwebs and make her fall. Only a 35% chance. So we'll burn it all down. <laughs> Don't mind that. I guess she will dispel her burn, right? But she can't dispel the sight, which is cool. Okay, oh nice. Steel Forge. Um let's get some extra block going. And uh get ready to get paralyzed. <laughs> Not the best turn there from Nesclect, but Okay, so let's find an inner combustion. That seems good. We'll use this later. Oh, well, we drew this now. Would have liked to have played that. Stunning the herder would have been nice, but um, I guess I can't. Oh no, this goes into hand. Okay, so yeah, we can do this, and then do a double volley. I guess I could have done that first. More ammunitions. I'm wondering. I, I probably have too many ammunitions in the deck, but they've been they've been pretty good. I haven't I haven't found them atrocious. So it's a lot of poison you got there, Cornelius. <laughs> now who gets paralyzed? Ooh, Sylvie. We like her though. <laughs> Maybe the least essential person in this fight. Though she probably does quite a bit of damage, so maybe she would have been fine to have around and kicking for a turn, but. Okay, well. Ugh. Not ideal here. Um, okay, we did get the death door out, which is nice.
There is a lot of poison going around that we are unable to do anything about. Okay, let's draw some cards. Okay. Got to be ready for death when we're at 46 with 33 poison and 3 decay. Okay, so... Ooh, the poison just keeps stacking up. Oh, Cornelius, no. He drew, he drew, oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, we can help out there a little bit. Get the one discount, die, come back, be very glad we took Phoenix. Okay. Much better. Um, get the hatch out and maybe pull the, those three. Sure. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because she's drawing a hatch, probably. Okay. We are now taunting with uh, a bunch of block. So I think we are in a good spot now. Let's see. Oh, one more energy needed. Okay, so... Quite a bit of damage. Um, ah, oh, more spiders. <laughs> Ooh, this will be a nice turn. Probably put, yeah, we definitely don't need that. This is a very good one. <laughs> sure. Came close to getting her turn four. We should be able to take her down before turn six ends. Get a miner. <laughs> okay. That's a good ricochet. And there we go. 148 for the last hit. Oof. Okay, another Blood Rage is awesome. Um... I don't think we need the spark of life. Okay, <laughs> too many ammunitions. We need to, we've gone overboard. We can't have a fifth one. <laughs> Maybe the one that puts it in your hand is fine though. Maybe I should, uh, <laughs> I could swap the other, I don't know. Um, I don't need chain lightning. Yeah, I don't need any of those. Um, not really what we're doing. Four energy? Oh 
my gosh. That is insane. <laughs> um, okay, so what do we actually want? Do we want crack charges? Eh. 5% resist might just be better. Um, minus one speed. We also lose a block charge and the 5% resist. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, we have to take Spider Queen Eye here, and then this is just too good to not take here. Holy crap, that's insane. Um, I don't think... I don't know that anything is better than the Brass Amulet. I mean, Virulent Ring is interesting. What does... Um, plus two sharp your range attacks to ignore a block, huh? Um, what's the other side of that? Oh, Corrupted Harley. Don't know what Corrupted Harley actually does. Is it just like all monsters? Or does it do something else? Maybe it ups the numbers. I mean, because like Virulent Ring is like, could be interesting. Currently our deck, like we have no ways of adding bleed except for Harley. Um, and Brass Amulet's pretty good. Hmm. I could take the Shackles of War on over here just for the immunity to Shackle. Uh, the poison's going to come pretty quick from Nez, so maybe it doesn't matter there. So yeah, I'll just stick with the Sharp for now. Okay, let's not die. I'm not quite dying yet. Okay, we can find one of these, sure. And then just discard it, that's fine. I have so much energy, it's insane. <laughs> Let's give Heiner some extra energy. That is a lot of <laughs> that to get rid of, nice. Okay, so Falcon Shot. <laughs> so many ammunitions. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's find some cool stuff. Probably a poison spray, sure. And then a volley, why not? And then. Oh, well, I should have done this first. Let's see. So this one is going to stick around. So maybe the multi shot to cost two is fine. Okay, last guardian is nice. And the battle shout, not too bad. Okay, oh, transferring three curses over to Sylvie is pretty annoying. She's definitely in danger for this uh, whirlwind. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Hmm. 
Okay. So, this guy's fire resist is pretty low, so I think I'm going to just try to focus him down. Oh, I was hoping to draw more scrolls. We did not, though. We are in trouble. We've got to get some help from Nez here. This will help, I believe. Um, uh, maybe I should have gotten rid of the decay on Cornelius, but... Man, this guy is so fast. A hundred and five. I do think I want the extra block, even though I did hit him quite a bit a few times. I gave him basically 30% extra damage for this turn. Oh, he's transferred another three curses. And a purging flame, man. That is very good that we got the healing rain last turn, though. Okay. Well, here we go. We get to do a lot of stuff. Um, I think we just give energy out because we can, and then... Get a four cost electrocute, which we can maybe play later in the fight. Maybe not. Oh, we're disarmed? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, it hurts so much. <laughs> um. Okay, we can maybe get rid of a death door. Nice. And then we could heal Sylvie for 41. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, and then get some block and whatnot up. I think just the extra block for Steel Forge to go off is going to be worth it. Okay, how much uh, how much damage is this going to deal? It's going to be a lot. Yo, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> oh, you're fine, Cornelius. You're fine. <laughs> Um, okay, let's. Freeze that guy. I'm still disarmed, huh? That's pretty sad. <laughs> okay, wow, this, uh... I need more Dispel. I think that's the biggest thing I've found. Um... Uh, I 
don't know that there's anything I can do to save Cornelius. Oh. Oh, the heal at the end of turn did it. Okay. I had forgotten about that one. Okay, we gotta make sure he doesn't take any damage. I don't think he oh I don't think he can actually. But just to be sure. Okay. Yowza. Oh, maybe I should have. I probably shouldn't have done the damage. Yeah, because now it only kills him and we don't get to heal. Yeesh, that, that fight was scary. Um, okay, I do think I want another sp a spark of life. We have been getting molly lopped in these last couple of fights. Reign of Errors is cool. Um, yeah, it seems fine. Let's see. Pulverize. Do I want one? Hmm. I think we can go without it. This does make an energy, but it's like kind of, it's kind of slow. Whew, okay. Well, we only get forty-five percent chance to heal. I, th I think I want to. Oh no! Ah. The Reign of Arrows that I just put in the deck. Oh, it did us in. Oh, we screwed. <laughs> I wanted to heal because of this. Because I knew that uh, Cornelius was so low that on his turn he may just die. Ooh, but this makes it so much worse. <laughs> Okay, well, we can at least uh, get rid of these. One energy off of casting that twice. So Cornelius is dead, it's looking like. Oh, wait. Oh, they slowed him. Or no, they slowed Sylvie. That saved Cornelius. Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, okay, we got to find the good cards here. These are not them. Steel Forges, though. Yeah, because he was going to die because he was going to get hit by the lightning of Sylvie and then the lightning over here. And this guy, very kindly, <laughs> random to slow on to Sylvie, which saved Cornelius' life. Whew. Okay, we still are not out of the out of the water yet. We're just getting started. Um, I mean... This is the only one we can cast, so. Sure. I think, hmm. Guess we do that. I'm not sure on that one. Ew, this fight is so scary. Random hero bite, random hero shoot stuff. Okay. Well, let's give Nez some extra draw and energy, I think. And then we definitely want the insulate going. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Well, we're safe for now. Just let's see if we can heal back up a little bit. Uh, that's probably worth it. Oh, these electroshocks are so terrible for us. Oh, this hand is awful. Oh, wait, no, we can, we can do this. I guess a volley seems good. Oh, I should have... Oh, dang it. Oh, well. I didn't get the invis hit from volley, which I probably should have. No rain of arrows this turn. Well, we can camouflage. Okay, let's battle shout. That'll be good. Um, can do some punching. One crack off of having enough to. Oh my gosh! So much poison. No hit, Heiner, please. Okay. Okay, stop hitting Nez. He needs to be alive. Okay. Okay, so we can cauterize Nez. That's cool. And then... I don't know. This guy does take quite a bit of fire damage, so... This is useless, um, in this fight at least. Okay, we need Nez to be drawing his get rid of poison things, so. Oh, Sylvia is going to take a lot of damage this turn. Okay, well, we did kill one of them, it does seem. We left him nicely at just enough health to, uh... Still give us our... Heal, but not uh, murder us, so it's cool. Um... Okay. So we're to the point where we have enough insane insight on them to basically fully heal. So if we can just get rid of all of these awful debuffs they've given us, then uh, we'll be good to go. Let's see, though. Um, I think... We can, sure, we can do that. Is taunting bad? I feel like taunting is bad. Yeah, I think we can't taunt. There's too many like multi-hit things that I've died to in this fight. I guess a, one, a lot of it is the lightning guy though. Okay, so this guy can now summon a Hydra head, which is kind of annoying, but not really much we can do about that. Oh. Well, that seems worth the energy. We get all of our sharp charges and then deal just a bunch of damage. More draw for Nez, so that we can hopefully get back to our detoxifies. Um, okay, let's see. Ow. Oh, I should have uh, fortune-telling myself. That's dumb. 
Yeah. That was dumb. Getting the detox that turn was rough. Let's see what we can do here, though. Um, that seems fine. Okay. Guy hasn't summoned the Hydra Head. Yet. Oh wait, no, he did just summon a Hydra Head. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh no. Um. Okay, so let's focus this one in the back because that one's the 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 good one. Okay, so let's do that, which is nice. And then apply some good old uh, Inspire to the team. Oh, I should have done this first. I would have healed for a little bit more. Whew, well, that was, a, that was a scary couple of turns after he uh, added all of the poison, but uh, managed to make it through just fine. In fact, better than ever. Look at us. We're, we're doing great. Other than... <laughs> if, you, if you ignore that, then we're doing, we're doing grand. Um... Oh, the Hydra Head's still immune. That's lame. Um, don't know what to do here. I, yeah, I'm not sure. Ah. Uh, What? What the? Oh, I was like, why is it dealing so much damage? He has 43 wet on him. Oh my gosh. That was insane. Okay, well. I now know that can happen. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Mr. 43 what? 23 <laughs> lightning? Oh my gosh. I almost played this and I would have just died. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go to two. I like how it <laughs> just last turn I'm like, ah, we're all back to normal and then this 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 tragedy over here happens. Um Okay, we do need to somehow dispel this wet. That would be grand. Unfortunately, oh, <gasps> got rid of some of it. <laughs> oh, and we have this replenishment, so we can't draw cards. We're one energy off of using. 
Okay, well, there, he didn't lightning storm that turn, so, like, we're good on that, but holy crap. I didn't even know it could do that. That was insane. Okay, so summoned Hydra Heads are still scary. I was sort of writing them off. Oh, nice. I, I will take this. I think that's fine. Um... don't think I need any of those. Vanish might be okay, but... Seems fine. Okay. Hmm. I think I might take Titan's Gauntlets on Sylvie. Just lose, lose a lot of resist, but uh, being immune to disarm is like yeah, so uh, disarm is so annoying. I do like Hydra Egg too, though. I think I'm gonna take Hydra Egg on Heiner. I think him being immune to poison is pretty good in Act Four. There's just like those those fights where they add like 50 poison to you for whatever, or like 100 poison to you for whatever reason. I can never remember what it what causes it, but. Uh, yeah, I think, like, having him at the front be immune to poison, I think, is pretty nice. Um, I will bring this Sonic Samulet, I think. I don't know. I'll, hmm, maybe the gold is just... No, I'll, I'll grab it just in case. I don't, We definitely don't need anything here. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the, the gauntlets. I think the, the powerful each turn, along with being immune to the disarm... Di Immune to disarm is pretty nice. Okay, so in this act, we do need to come down this bottom way. We got Betty at the beginning which uh, with Nez, which means he has a subject for them to convert, I assume. <laughs> so we get a free shop here with some really sick items. Um, a madness ring. Okay, well, buying that. <laughs> I, I, I almost didn't take that ring because I thought, oh, there's some really good rings that he can get, and I was like, no, he won't get them. It, it, it'll be fine. Okay, we gotta spend the rest of our time, money, just uh, removing all these awful curses that we got that fight. Um. Okay, so we have no more gold. I guess we could get an Archmage book for somebody, but I think all all of our other stuff is better. So, um, probably just using the rest to, uh, the rest of our energy or shards to just, uh, or gold to remove cards from the decks. Um, interesting. So, you used to be able to reduce these with uh, Ambidextrous, but you can't do that anymore. Because this is only melee attacks. I don't know if there's any like other range stuff that's good. Um, not really. So, I think we're fine there. Um... I could get like an adrenaline or something for Sylvie. That might be good. Let's see, is there any way to reduce the cost of any of these? That makes it more expensive. That makes it burn. And the random I don't mind actually. Heiner's deck has not gotten much better. I'm going to buy him a bluff here just because, like, 
I was hoping to find some bluffs along the way, and we just never did. I think even things like Carnage, I think, are really good. Uh, but he never found those. So. We haven't found any more dispels either, which is like really bad. Um, <laughs> I think uh, because of that, oops, um, because of that, I'm gonna probably add a mass dispel to the deck. And then maybe even just consider upgrading it. I don't know. Like, to stay in? Yeah, I think I might. Like, these other upgrades are fine, but, like, that, I think, does more for the decks than anything else. I wouldn't mind a Entrench or something for Heiner, but, like, he... Maybe we can find something along the way that sort of fits that bill and... I don't think anything else really does the, what Mass Dispel does here, so. Okay, so that's our decks. Um, do I want to switch any of these upgrades? I think those are fine. Maybe this one, but... I think the zero cost is going to be better. Probably, and then having Uproot Burn I think is fine. I think I want more of the blue ammunitions. Just because it does add it to your deck and then having like a cheap, like permanently cheaper uh, range attacks in the deck is fine. Maybe I'll add like, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. And keep testing it. I do kind of wish I had these out of the deck, but... I guess I can take some out. Okay. Um, I think the Shadow Mend will be okay in this, this act. Let's see, are there any other skills? Oh yeah, we know we're out of shards. <clears throat> hmm. The deck is, like, fairly cheap, but we keep running into these where we where we can't cast them, so maybe this Electrocute was probably wrong, but I've been enjoying it, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, this fight. Got an Aerial here. Aerial is very annoying to deal with. Oh, I probably should have swapped this over to the other version. Because I don't actually care about that drawing very much, so... Um, since... Um, yeah, I don't care about drawing all that much since I have the uh, bag of prep. Um, let's give Heiner some extra energy. I think um, I'll probably save. I could have dealt like a decent chunk of damage to 
Ariel, but like. Well, she has her sonar now. Unfortunate for us. Okay, 16 blunt, extra blunt damage is nothing to scoff at. Uh, there's no poison out. We could put the healing rain back. It's probably fine. Um, this fight's kind of scary. Was that okay Heiner died unfortunately <laughs> I think I could have played this better he took a lot of thorns damage that turn he probably didn't need to okay oh wait I could have done this If I'm hitting her with the uh, Harley, might as well deal some extra damage. Okay, this is not looking great. Oh, wait. Hmm. I mean... I... <laughs> Who of these is the most dangerous? I have no idea. Probably Ariel. Okay. Okay, do we survive? Looks like a definite maybe. Ow. Okay, not dead yet. <laughs> Um, this guy is front hero? Yeah, okay. Ow. Okay. Oh, no, he just, he, 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 he dies. That's fine. Okay, so we're fine if Cornelius dies, since he just has this phoenix going. Okay, well, we seem to have made it through. <laughs> Unscathed outside of outside of outside of Piner, but we that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, oh no. Um, I 
guess this one. Oh, that was good. Uh, I guess this is probably worth it, yeah. Oh, she dispelled herself. Oh. We hate that. <laughs> Okay. Ouch. Okay, we're fine. We made it. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah. Sure. I'm gonna go with no on those. Sure, we'll sell our trophy and buy nothing. Oh, Cloud Song is so good. Every turn, reduce the highest cost card in your hand by two. So, just basically any card in your hand, it's permanently reduced by two for the whole fight. Oh my gosh, Sylvie would have killed for that. Heiner would have killed for that. I mean, basically anyone would have, would have used it quite well. Cornelius probably would have been best use, the best use of it, like Electrocute and Replenishment, costing three and then, like, one later on, and then, oh my gosh, it would have been insane. But, alas, we are poor. We, remove, we spent, like, a million gold removing cards. Martina could be the death of us. We will see. Probably the low cost stuff. We can do that one later. I'm coming for you, Martina. Let's help Heiner out turn one, I think. Maybe I should help out Sylvie, though. Her having extra energy turn one could be nice. Ooh. Double this sweet ricochet we found. Ooh. Okay, so they come back to life after we get them low. We could, um, if it goes well. Oh, gosh. Um, if it goes according to plan. Oh, I should have done that last one. Just, yeah, maybe it's fine. Okay, I don't have another... Resourceful charge. We've used them all up. Um, so yeah, if everything goes according to plan, we can stack up a bunch of poison with Nez and then just have them tick out to poison and then we don't actually deal damage to them and then this doesn't go off. But... Uh, okay, well, they are blessed more than us. Oh, Sylvie's dead. Oh, no. Uh, well, guys, this may be the end of it. I, uh, that was, that was rough for sure. I did say that last fight, though, so <laughs> maybe I'm just, uh, need to have more hope. Um, let's see here. Ow. Okay. Uh... <laughs> OK. 
Okay, let's see what we can grab a hold of. Um... Well, that going through block was kind of annoying. Oh, he didn't even proc it. Oh, we're doomed. We do have courage. Oh, he skipped his turn. Oh, maybe we have a chance. We're back in it. <laughs> Okay. They are now getting vulnerable from the crack. It's finally happened. Um... Okay, so this is damaged by others under 15%. So does the tick... Oh, it did. Dang it. Oh, okay. Well, it's no longer there. So if we can survive just a little bit longer... Okay, ow. Oh my gosh. Deals so much damage. Oh, what does this do? Damage by others. Deal 46. Oh my gosh. Well, ow. <laughs> okay. Oh, we already. It's not there. Probably fine though. Um, <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everything's fine. Guess that? I don't know. It's so, so rough. Oh, okay. You know, I probably shouldn't have tried to go for Martina first. I think that may have been my, my issue here. Ow. Okay, no, 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 I was right all <laughs> I gotta repeat this up to three more times. Uh, well, I'm gonna start with this. Let's see, this is... Similar damage. Okay. Uh, we're we're fine. We're fine. <sighs> Slowing that guy down doesn't really do anything.
Okay, so I've five energy. Oh, why does that? Oh, our holy resist is so good. Um. The mind resist is very bad, though. So this is it's probably worth using. And well, maybe we can catch the death door. Nice. Okay, heal for 70, nice. Oh no, Martina lives because of the shield. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Oh, okay. Ow, ow. Wait, wait, is... Mm, oh my gosh, the cauterize. <sighs> Amazing. Um, so <laughs> we can't hit her, that's for sure. So we aren't casting Living Flame this turn. Um, this guy is gonna hit back, so we don't really want to hit him. So I guess we're just throwing. Oh, I guess we can do this. Yeah. Cauterize for the win. Whew. Let's see. This fight has been insane. Um, let's get rid of those. Get rid of those. And do an anthem. <laughs> oh. Let's see. These guys are sort of just going to die to their own stuff, so like, I guess I'll just add some burn and then like, just leave him be, I think. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a little bit ambitious. So this guy does the which one is based on bleed? Yeah. Okay. should die to poison and he should also die to poison oh my gosh what what a fight i thought we lost that quite a few times unfortunately sylvie did die but uh there's no way we ever cast this is there i don't know <laughs> i think the evocation is just gonna be better in general overpower Is this good? I'll try it out. Can we corrupt our death door? Such cool. 
We don't have any, enough to do even a single one of these, so hello. Goodbye. This seems very bad. <laughs> that is not the one you want to take when they have a bunch of here. holy damage stuff. Guts. Um, I, <laughs> I was like just about to say guts can just end your run and he did <laughs> he does I don't think he always cast desecrate on turn one but he did and then this guy cast on holy storm which proc dark across the whole team uh and uh, thus ended our beautiful beautiful run we had we had a good time though um i think this comp is really good like i think if we didn't die there like we had a good chance of winning actually so there <laughs> there's no chance of winning this fight there's literally zero percent like <laughs> so um I don't uh, don't normally reroll fights anyway, so that one is is one where it was basically a zero percenter. <laughs> we walked into the fight and instantly died. So um, anyway, that was a fun run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will be back with more. Um, gonna get a win soon here. We've gotten to the final boss a few times, and uh, I'm I'm more consistently getting to Act Four now. I think I've sort of figured out a bit about the patch and a bit about how to go about madness 16 now um which is fun um definitely throw suggestions my way if you uh have stuff you want to see and uh, consider subscribing and um it's really great to see so many people joining the channel and uh enjoying the videos so thanks again and uh, i'll be back with more and uh yeah we'll see you soon